Welcome to Winston-Salem and another stop along Tobacco Road, which is home to the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. And the fans have been ready to get things started since early in the day. Today, a clash between a couple of ACC rivals in a game that could have big-time implications for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Clemson Tigers taking on the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And the Demon Deacons will put it away to start the game. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Clemson Tigers offense will take the first swing of the game. Here he comes, and obviously defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback, but boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons, he's got the confidence, he's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Love to see these third down conversions on offense, and they're out to their own 39-yard line. And the Tigers will have it first and 10. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Still on his feet at the 45. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. You cannot let that happen to you defensively. That is the definition of getting gashed. They didn't have one guy in their front seven even get a finger on that guy. Clemson set up with another first down. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. As they come to the line, they've moved it, but they need one more yard on third. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Tigers. I really love that first drive by the offense. It always seemed like they were just one step ahead of the D. And a nice job there down close. When the defense knew they were going to run the football, being more physical, running it in on third down to get the touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. They marched 78 yards down the field, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So the Wake Demon Deacons offense will take the field for the first time. I know what a weapon he is on the outside, but stretching the field against this dude in the secondary will be a challenge. And just some safeties have it, the awareness, the ability to see the ball to break on the football, and he's one of those guys. This QB better be looking the safety off. You can't just trust your receiver's going to out-athlete him every time you throw him the ball, because this safety is a different breed. Got it. Behind the line, it's Morin. That's a live ball! Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Yeah, and you see wide receivers make those catches and try to get upfield and now turn into a running back and make something happen. And a lot of times you just forget to secure that football real tight. And you could tell DB got it out. Big mistake, big turnover, nice forced turnover by the defense. Short fields make successful offenses just what they want here. They'll start this drive with a pass. Got it in the middle, it's Brown. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And that's a first down for the offense. 
He'll do it himself. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll give it to the back. Nice move to keep moving. Got some room. Headed to the goal line. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Clemson. Number seven. This guy just has a nose for the end zone, and you love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field, and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already his fifth rushing touchdown on the season. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. 14, Wake Forest, zero. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Wake Forest offense returns to the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. To He's going to throw deep right side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he's brought down after a huge completion. The Demon Deacons in the hurry up. On the ground, it's Claiborne. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Back to the ground with the running back. And he gets nothing, and this defense is not giving an inch right on the goal line. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Fourth down and less than a yard, and of course the offense is going to stay on the field. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Wake! Well, 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 somebody's been doing their box jumps. I mean, the line hit up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone, that vertical way up in the air. Try to tack on one more. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Rutgers is currently ahead in this one. The folks in Piscataway have been in a frenzy all week. But they're in the birthplace of college football. This one is close. They're up by seven over Wisconsin. From the gun, the ground game. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They'll run play action. Quick strike complete. Trying to tackle this guy's a business decision as he gets it up to the 29. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. They'll try to run for it. He breaks a tackle. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the offense. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. 
That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get the ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. He got three on first down at second and seven. They give it to him again. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? To the air, it's Bachmeyer. Pressure coming. And the quarterback knew he was in that pocket too long, but nowhere to go with the ball, and he takes the sack. And that is the way you set the tone. Man, early and often. Here in the first quarter, getting your first sack. Nice job by this defense. They had four last week, and it's looking like today it's going to be more of the same. And the Demon Deacons will call on their punt team. First one of the day is booted away. They ran him out there four times in the victory last week. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out and forward backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. They'll throw it on first down. He lobs one high down the left side. They make the stop, but not before he wraps up this first period with a huge game. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Clemson has the lead. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. To the ground with the back. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. He'll get that one all the way down to the four-yard line before he stopped. The offense knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Clemson. What a day. His third rushing Number touchdown. Seven. And when you got your college Number fantasy seven. football team going, this guy is racking those points up for you. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish it off with the score from the four. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the Deacon offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Caught in the backfield, it's Fields. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land play. And what a nice play by the DB. You have to understand, that wide receiver gets that ball that quick. It's tough to get him on the ground. Nice job getting a hold of him, getting him on the ground for no gain. Got his man down the middle. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. To the air, it's Bachmeyer. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run. And the ball is loose and live in the backfield. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. And the defense able to get pressure to the quarterback, and they've got everybody trying to swipe at the football, and the impact on the hit sometimes jars the ball loose. 
Great job with the pass rush and a better job forcing a turnover. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? It'll be a draw. Only able to pick up a yard before he stopped, and now it's 43. Clemson will send the punt team out. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt goes out of bounds. We'll see where the officials spot it, but they certainly gave them no opportunity for a return. The inside handoff. Crosses the 30. He's got away. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Not much can impose your will on a defense like popping a big run. Especially when they know you're going to run it, right? This offense right now is just more physical. You're more physical up front in the trenches, and this running back and his ability to break tackles, that is just so demoralizing for this defense. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? They'll try to power their way ahead. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. The Demon Deacons are rolling down the field. Getting some heat. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the left. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Man, if I'm a defense, i got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. i got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's still third and goal. Dropping back, it's Buckmeyer. Coming after it. They won't let him in. He had a nose for that end zone, but he will be stopped short. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. Splits the uprights. It's good. The kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. Oh, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in the pre -step. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll run it from the gun. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll keep it himself. And he could not get loose on the run. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. 
feeling some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. They'll look to pin him deep. A high kick trying to pin them deep. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Line gets set, first down. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. And they got him for the sack. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He only needs a sliver of daylight. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Going up top on first down. Caught over the middle. It's grinding school. Makes a catch and knock down. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. Brings up second down. Using the quick game. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. They'll snap it from the 39. First and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Got a man. It's Moore. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. The offense wastes no time getting the timeout call. Timeout. Second down coming up. Looking for a man. It's Klubnik. Fires to the tight end. Makes the tackle at the 23-yard line. Give him 10 yards and enough for the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Wants to throw on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's Maffa. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. He's going to pass on second down. Got a man in the middle. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seventh. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. They want to throw it. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target. It's incomplete. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. He wants to pass it on second down. Looking for the score. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. It's hard for a defense to have to cover so much space. When the offense goes empty, you get receivers and tight ends and running backs lined up out wide. You've got to expand, and it's harder to cover on the back end. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point sails through for a 28-10 lead. That last drive covered 52 yards on their way to the score. And they close the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Trying to find his man on first down. Lofts one high and deep. Incomplete. They took a shot to wrap up the half and came up empty. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. 
Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Winston-Salem. What a fine performance we've seen. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at a legacy stadium. Clemson will kick this deep to get the second half underway. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Wake Forest offense returns to the field. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece. I know this is coach speak and very simple. I score. I get a stop. I score. I can get back in this game, but it's got to be one drive at a time. It, it's going to have to be, but I think the mindset offensively is we're probably going to have to score every time we get it because our defense has been struggling. They have not been getting a lot of stops. So this is a critical drive here for this offense. He gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. And this defense is smelling blood right now. Like, they know they got him right where they want. Got him in a third down and long. They got a lead by three possessions. Everything is going their way. This offense is in trouble. And the Demon Deacons will bring the punt team onto the field. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Running it back, it's Brown. Still on his feet. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. He wants to throw. Pulls it in, it's Brown. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Lining up from the 34 on first down. The running back has it. Oh, gives him the tough stiff arm. Gets it inside the 30, down to the 27, a pickup of six. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. Snagged in the middle, it's Williams. They'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Clemson ready to go back to work with another first down. They'll run the option. Nice move to stay on his feet. Touchdown, Tigers! And the stomping has commenced. Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up 35 to 10. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Rutgers is piling on the points here today. They've opened up a massive lead in what's shaping up to be the kind of blowout neither side will soon forget. They're up 14 over Wisconsin. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. Scanning the field, it's Bachmeyer. Gets it out fast. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. He'll pull it down. They pick up half of it, it'll be second and five. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. 
Line is set on third down. It's a draw. That'll be enough for the first down as they mark it down at the 31-yard line. The Demon Deacons are moving quickly down the field. To the air on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. When you talk about outstanding pass rushers, you're always talking about dynamic guys, and he's been that each and every week for this defense. Speed, he's got power. You just simply can't block him, and that last play is his 10th sack of the season. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Good, solid tackle. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. From the gun, wants to pass. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. It's good. Putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. On the move, it's Mafa. Maybe picked up a couple, he's down at the 24. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. Delay of game, game, offense. offense. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. Back to throw, it's Klubnik. It's caught downfield. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. New set of downs after that completion. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Brings him down at the 48. It's a gain of 15 and a first down. And the Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. Fires to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the out for the catch. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Hand off from the gun. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Trying to get to it. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. I don't bring more speed on the field. If I don't think it's a pass, right? If I think they're going to line up and hit me in the mouth, I'm going to bring more big guys. They brought more speed on the field. They went nickel. They knew it was a passing situation. They told those pass rushers to hunt, those DBs to cover. The defense was ready for that. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Keeps the play going. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. And finally, you're seeing some life from the defense. They've been struggling all game long up to this point, but back to back sacks on two consecutive plays, they're at least still trying to fight back in this game. Clemson will send the punt team out. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. A sky-high punt. He'll call for the fair catch here. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the offense. 
Maybe they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field. I think if you want to take the next step too here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Defense makes the tackle, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Clemson has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. A third and long coming up here to throw. It's Buckmeyer. He lofts it high and deep down the left side. The expressway is wide open. Touchdown, Wake Forest! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened, because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. And they'll try to tack on two. Looking to throw. They're bringing heat. And the defense gets to him and snuffs out the two, and they will draw no closer here. That keeps the score. Clemson, 35. Wake Forest, 19. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Maffa. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, running back on the move. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Going to the ground. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Takes a handoff. It's Mafa. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. They'll run it on the counter. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to bully their way for the first. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the Deacon offense. The give to the back. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to throw. It's Bachmeyer. Pressure coming. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. I think this quarterback now at this point is looking over the sideline saying, hey, can we just not throw it anymore? I mean, my guys, they can't block for me. I've got no chance back here. We need to just run the ball from this point out. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. They've got the screen set up. And that's what defense is all about. Understanding the situation. It's third and long. I'm going to drop back. I'm going to make him throw that ball underneath to the running back. And then do my job. Go corral, tackle him, and force the fourth down. On the return, it's Brown. He was that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. 
Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. What a nice job on the ground, working his way ahead for seven yards and leaving them with fourth and short. They're about two yards away. Kicks it high, and it's just hanging there as if it has helium in it and floating down toward the earth. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Hand off from the shotgun. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Now they'll run the draw. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. Facing a third down and short from the 26. Back to throw, it's Buckmeyer. Looking to the big tight end. Pulls it in. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the Demon Deacons have this offense rolling. Looking to go up top on first down. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. He has been terrorizing quarterbacks all year long. That now his 10th sack of the season. He's got speed. He's got power. He's going to play on Sundays. And he is not cooperating with this offense's game plan. Catch in the middle. It's Fields. They bring him down with a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. The Demon Deacons will hustle to the line. On third down, he drops to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Bunch formation trying to confuse the secondary. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. He'll off one deep down the left side. It's incomplete, and they'll turn it over on downs. Offense set on first down. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. The give to the back. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. On the run, it's Mafa. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. I'd expect we're going to get another dose of the running game at this point, even though it's second and 11. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. The defense calls the timeout their second of the day as they try to get their act together give to the single back and he's not going to make it the defense denying him the first down quick timeout called by the defense stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way a fair catch called for and made the offense lining up for a first down play he'll start this drive firing Got a man, it's Claiborne. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets it up on the catch for the first down. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. He'll come out throwing on first down. That's caught, it's green. 
They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover. Pick up the first. On second down, he's looking downfield. Getting some heat. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to it. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Coming after it. He'll try to do it himself. And he is corralled short of the line to gain. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. That's reeled in. It's Alexander. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give him a first down. They're moving quickly after that big fourth down conversion. Clock will roll when the ball is set. The throw, ball's incomplete. Secondary walks Three up on the line showing down. press coverage. And now on second down for this offense. Back to pass, it's Buckmeyer. Feeling some heat. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. With the clock running, this should be the final play. On third down, he'll try to get up through the air. That's caught. It's Fields. They make the stop, and the clock strikes zero, and that will do it for this one. All business today for this ball club. They come out and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes. But at the end of the game, Jesse, you want that dub. No doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that are going to need to clean up moving forward. But ultimately, they were the better team today. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.